Welcome back everyone and happy Saturday. I hope you're all having a good Easter weekend. Um, I think it's Easter weekend, but hopefully it is airing on Easter weekend and hope you all had a good Friday. On Good Friday, of course, yeah. See a little pun there. I'm sorry about that. Uh, we'll do no more puns. Uh, okay, right. What we've got today is, as you can see, we've got these Kanto Power tins and level ball as well. We've got a prim Premier Premier Ball as well, I think it's called. Yeah, Premier Ball. And I've got a great ball as well to open. And I'm sorry for all the fans of Mew and Dragonite kind of blocked you out there. But in the comment section, let me know which one's your favourite. Is it Pikachu and Vulpix in the corner over there on the left? Is it Mewtwo? Is it obviously a Charizard, my favourite? Has to be. Um, is it size like a Mew over here? And just you can see Gra um, Dragonite on the edge here as well. Let me know in the comment section. And first, I just wanted to quickly showcase some cards I've recently got in my collection. These are all from Trades, and I bought some singles as well here and there. Just I'm going to showcase them, and I'll give a big shout out to everyone over on Discord, or Discord on the UK Deal Deal Hunters Discord, where I've got all these from Trades or bought or a mixture of them all. Uh, first, we have a Glaceon e GX. This is for my Hidden Fates collection. I've pretty much completed it now. I am just missing. Nespion has film, filming this, and we've got a Leafy one as well. So two beautiful, beautiful cards. Um, centering on Glaceon looks pretty solid. Maybe a top, I'd say, um, top to bottom. And the Leafy one looks pretty nice as well. Uh, I'd probably just say that left-hand side is a bit off. I'll go through these quickly. We've got a Buzzwall GX shiny. Curly has shiny. A lot of shinies going to be seeing now. This is a Brooklet Hill Gold card, um, guard jump shiny, big fan of guard jump, and a lot of people are. These are all sleeves, so hopefully they look okay on camera. Magnazone with his angry eyes, put his angry eyes on. Um, shiny as well, Scyther shiny, big fan of that. Shout out to Aaron, his favourite Pokemon is Scyther. He's got a lot of favourite Pokemon, let's say. <laughs> Zoroark GX shiny, this is really cool because this is quite hard to find come by. These are from the premium boxes of Hidden Fates. It comes with like a great board, I think it is. And it is a promo of it, and it's pretty hard to find. You can see it's got an A there, 77A, uh, 73. There's also a Metagross and a uh, Rayquaza. Both shiny as well, which are both hard to find, and I don't have either one. I'll be fairly quick, so I don't want to. I want to obviously open cards as well. Got a Cartana shiny, shiny as a gold Tapu Tapu Lili GX, pretty nice. Dusk form Lycanroc GX, Alteria GX, shiny obviously Noibat shiny, Lucario shiny. So we got the big, big shiny version of it. This is the baby shiny version, which is pretty awesome as well. Green Ninja. I know a lot of people are a fan of Green Ninja, and we got a shiny of this as well. Shout out to Robbie. Actually pulled one is in his. First and only literally in the box so far, which is pretty awesome for him. Uh, Drampa, Grandpa, Grandpa the Grandpa, I like to call it as well, and that's pretty awesome. And this one I got my trade shout out to, I can't remember who, I think it was uh, Cream Shea maybe. Uh, Nagnadel, also shout out to, to Aki for the for the Glacier, and that's pretty awesome. Nagnadel GX, I love this card as well, it's pretty awesome. And they pulled one as well actually on the weekend, which is pretty cool. Last week that was. Uh, Sylvali GX, shiny. Uh, Skylar, so this is from Shining Face, this is not Hidden Face, and this is really cool card, one of the chase cards that I wanted, and I managed to get it in a trade as well, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, if you can't pull it, just, just trade for it, it's a trading card game, people. Don't need to pull every single card, you can, you can get them in trades as well. Sizzle, one of my favourite Pokemon, love how the uh, the green looks uh, on this, on the Shiny as well. We've got Type Null Shiny, obviously evolves into Sil Valley, I should order this better. Maybe, but next time it's fine. Wimpod Shiny, I've actually pulled this one on the weekend, uh, last week as well, and that was pretty nice to get. Uh, Aether Paradise Conservation Area, which is a gold card. Aether Foundation Employee as well, which is a nice full art to get. Tapu Coco, another gold card here. So I'm just missing Tapu Bulu from the card collection, which is just coming as we speak. So I'll probably show that in another video, maybe. That's a beautiful gold card. Probably my favourite gold card out of the lot. Uh, let me know in the comment section which one's your favourite card I've got recently as well. Obviously, you want to know what's your favourite tin, but um, what's your favourite card? This is a Guard for GX, and I've wasted a lot of time showing these, but he is Suicune. I love Suicune. This is obviously from Shining Fates as well, and the, the third chase card from the set, I'd say. So it's Skylar, it's the Charizard VMAX, obviously, and Suicune, Baby Shiny. So I've got, I've got it now. I, I, I pretty much completed Shining Fates. Um, Let's just say for me anyway. I'll probably try and do a master set, but let's see. Alteria, so we've got to be I showed you the full version of it, the, the, the full art version of it, but this is just a half art version, which is pretty awesome still. Just a baby shiny. And a few more to go, sorry, almost there. 
Dartrix, also we've got Decidueye already, Ho-Oh, I know a lot of people are big fans of Ho-Oh, we've got the shiny version of this, I've got the Shining Ho-Oh, which has been sent off to CGC from Shining Legends, and I've got this shiny one as well, it looks pretty good centering wise as well, which I'm really happy with, next we have a Mallow uh, Full Art Trainer, a big fan of Full Art Trainers, and I do like collecting them, I've got quite a few, obviously, Ball Guy is my most popular one, because everyone knows I love Ball Guy, obviously, yeah, this was... Not really. Um, another one from Shining Fates here, uh, Grimmsnarl V Max. One I haven't pulled, which is crazy. Um, you'll see another another one I haven't pulled, but um, this is we've opened a lot of packs and not pulled that. So Viper, this is one of the last ones I needed for the collection, so I'm really happy to get this. Shout out to Shabba for getting me all these on, on the Discord. And Cinderace, I do, I'm a big fan of Cinderace, even though I tried Inteleon to start with, but Cinderace is probably my favourite now. Um, Toxtricity V, another one from Shiny Fates, two more from Shiny Fates here. Uh, I've pulled so many, I think five Toxtricity V maxes, and now I've finally got the Shiny Toxtricity V. I had to get it for a trade again, crazy. And last but not least, the Tenantus V, another gold card. Don't have the Tenantus V max yet. Obviously, we have pulled the Japanese version from Shiny Star V, but this is an absolutely beautiful card. Big fan of gold cards. And let's go straight into opening now. I'm sorry for wasting so, many, so much time on, on looking at the cards I've added in my collection, but. Normally I like to show the cards that we've pulled, but sometimes you can't pull them all. So go straight into this. I will open up Dragonite first. Dragonite first then. Uh, actually no, let's go for the I uh, let's go for the balls first, yeah. The balls. Okay, I go for the great ball first. I know six minutes gone and I'm not even opening the cards. I have opened these off camera. But I want to show you the so we've got a Mew on there. And let's just make a big racket and put this on the side here. And let's see what packs we get. We got the Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon upside down, and we get Fates Collide. So it's pretty cool. XY pack there. Um, I have um, opened the seal off camera because you don't want to see how long it takes for me to open up sealed stuff for me. Um, and I don't want to waste all the time spending. I'd rather waste time showing you what cards I've got in my collection than actually <laughs> than actually breaking the seal and stuff, which is uh, which is a silly way. Okay, Water Energy. This is Burning. Wait, what was this? Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield. Yes, it is. Pokemon Center Lady. Best cards in this set are Rainbow Marnie, which we have pulled already. Uh, not on camera, but I've pulled it and it's gone to CGC. And the Gold Dogs as well, which is pretty awesome. Roselia, Glossifer, and a Frostmoth. Okay, holographic. I won't put it in the background, but I'll put it on the side. So I'll show you at the end. Obviously, we've got the tins in the background still. So the holographic from that, which is pretty nice. Um, my luck with these tins aren't the best, I'm just going to say. With these pleasurable tins. I have opened quite a few. I think I even filmed a video of, of one of like nine Pokeball tins, which I didn't actually put to air because I only got one pull in the whole thing and it was a pretty bad opening. I think I got disturbed halfway as well and just, yeah, not a good one. But hopefully, you never know, you get some good luck this time. This is Sun and Moon. Best cards in this set are, I think it's a Gold Ultra Ball and then it's the Rainbow Espeon and Rainbow Umbreon, which I do would like. I have Rainbow Umbreon in my collection, but it's not a very good one. And this is Hypno Reverse and another holographic. Nice, two holographics in a row. I love this Dragonite. Big fan of the Dragonite. I love the holographic, the way it is in the background as well. So some good cards so far, some nice holographics. Nothing crazy, but like I said, I've not got good luck with this. So um, I'm happy with this. Uh, Fates Collide, the best cards in this set are the Alakazam cards. I think they are anyway. And um, there's a nice Alakazam, the code cards will go around, obviously. Three cards from the back this time. And Alakazam, I think there's one card with um, the Umbreon in the background, which is pretty cool. It's, a, it's Alakazam EX Full Art Secret Rare, I think it is. Wheezing, and these cards are really sticking together. I don't want to sneeze again. Oh, okay. Vullaby. I love it. I just want to take a, take a look at these, because I've not seen these in ages, actually. Seal. Ryolu. Jigglypuff, which is pretty cool. Two background Pokemon there. Shout out to Klagsaurus Rex, who loves his background Pokemon. He watches videos. He's quite cool. Uh, Spoiling Ken, you've got uh, Snivy there. Dreezen is the reverse rare. And uh, Mr. Mime. So we stopped the streak of the holographics, but that's fine. That's okay. It's a nice first Pokeball to open. So next one. It's, it should be the same packs. Let's see. I'll just open up the camera because I'm. Yeah, there it is. It looks like it. So Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon, and another Fates Collide. We've got a different coin this time. It's the Volcanium, I think it's called. Oops, I'll just put it there. I think I put it there anyway. And let's just put this one on the side. Big Crash Bang Wallet. Ah, there wasn't this time. Okay. So let's go straight into this next one. 
How are we doing for time? 10 minutes. Oh god, it's spent too much time, isn't it? Too much time talking about stuff, as usual. Okay, let's just pick this up a little bit, Jaron. Okay, four from the back for Sword and Shield. And Salazzle. Whoops, there was something behind it. It was a bishop. Don't worry about it, it's just a bishop. Uh, probably a few bishop fans out there. Oh well. Zig's a good man sign, reverse uncommon, and a Durant. Kevin Durant is there. Okay, Sun and Moon, give us some luck. Give us that rainbow Umbreon, that'd be pretty nice. Chased that a long time now. Had to buy one, wasn't a very good one. Maybe I'll trade for one, you never know. If there's anyone out there with a rainbow Umbreon, hit me up. Big fan of Umbreon. Dark Energy, there we are, maybe it's a sign, eh? Toracat, Litten, Cosmog, Rog and Roller, Growlithe, very cute Growlithe there, Meowth, Fermantis, and, uh, okay, Hilma, nice. I told you I'd like my full art trainers, and we've got another one here. That is pretty cool. What a way, oh wow, one pack in, hey, that's pretty awesome. And the best full art trainer is the Lily from this. I think I've got one on the way, actually, which is pretty cool. And this is pretty cool. I think he is the normal gym leader in, mm, I can't remember which, is it, is it still... Was he alone, Jimmy Or Maybe a Nova? Or I don't know. Let me know what Jenny's in. But that's pretty cool. Very off centre one. And we've got a pull. Uh, I won't put it in the background yet. I'll clear up the clear up all these. But that's pretty awesome. From just two packs, the Sun and Moon. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with that to get a full up. Didn't expect that at all. So remember, three from the back for these Fates Collide ones. I don't want to see the code card. So it was the other way around. There's some odd writing on it as well. It's weird. I've not seen that before. Uh, we've got a Weezing. Power Memory. Or oh, do you know Spirit Link? Okay, so we've got some mega cards in this potentially. Spoink. Gothita. Fennekin. Bronzom is a reverse rare. Nice. And uh, Alteria EX. Very nice. Okay, two hits in a row. I do have an Alteria EX full art, which I pulled from Bates Clyde before. Probably from Tins, actually, again. Um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I say pretty cool way too much, don't I? Tell me. Oh, for saying too many things like that. But that's awesome. Maybe um, all my luck's coming back with these Pokeball tins finally, eh? And the last but not least, we've got the level ball. So same packs again, and it is Fates Collide. Yep, at the back. The queen is, is it going to be Mew Volcanion? It is Volcanion. Okay. So level ball. These are all from series six of these tins. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section which one's your favourite ball as well. Obviously, after telling me which one's your favourite for it. Power tin in the background and your favourite new card in my collection, really. Okay, let's carry on our luck. That was two hits in one in one uh, Pokeball, which was pretty awesome. Which Pokeball was that? Was that the Great Ball? I think it was. Stunfisk, Raboot, Hop. Clopus, we saw that earlier. Goldeen, Roselia, Ghastly, Ponyard, Reverse Clopus, okay, double, and uh, Rosaried. I'm not actually open much Sword and Shield, but um, nice set. Okay, Sun and Moon, last chance to give us a gold Umbreon, I think. Actually, no, maybe these got Sun and Moon in there, I'm not 100% sure. I know it's either Crimson Invasion and something like Steam Siege, maybe, I don't know. Or it's like Burning Shadows and Sun and Moon, but let's see. Um, yeah, so maybe not the last chance to get an Umbreon, but you never know. Rock and Roller, Sandy Gas, Caterpie, oops, we saw went forward a little bit. Trumbeak, like a nice Skarmory there, and a Vicar Vault Holographic. I'll put you with the other Holographics over here on the side. And the last pack magic from these Pokeball tins is a Mega Alakazam with his beard and his, um, got his gem in there as well, like Vision style. And what's it going to be? What's it going to be? So, uh, yep, code cards wrong way around again, it's fine. Three cards from the back. Power, Memory, Hall Lucha. Actually, if I remember correctly, last time I saw a green code card and we got an Alteria EX. That was weird. Maybe we'll get another, I don't know what we'll have here, Mincino and a Bronzong as a non holographic Look how off-centre that, that is bad. <laughs> Just look at that top, that's almost cut off completely. Wow, the QC on this is not very good at all. But finally, we can get into these ones, and uh, yeah, okay. So, got a Hydragon, got this um, Dragonite one, and more details on Dragonite. So, if you want to have a look, and yes, okay, so it's Burning Shadows, and it is, I can get it out, 
Sun and Moon again. Okay, all right, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. I'll go straight into the Sun and Moon one first. Uh, Burning Shadows, obviously we know what we want there. Rainbow Charizard, Char that Charizard has eluded me. Rare for many Charizards to elude me, really. I do like putting them, but uh, fourth on the back, I did correctly, good. Uh, but you never know, we could pull it. Crushing Hammer, Herdia, Lily, Paris, Lily Pup, okay. Bone Sweet, Dupida, Marini, Nest Ball, and uh, okay, awesome. Umbreon EX. Yeah. This is the second one we have pulled. Shout out to someone for putting the first one in our big opening, but this is very off center and this is beautiful. I love it. I don't care. That's awesome. You're going to go right there in that corner. That's really made a space for you. Really nice pull so far. This is really made up for it the last time I opened up tins like this. Obviously, the mini tins from Shiny Fates were really nice to us as well. But you can go right there. I'll make space for you after these next ones. What an opening so far. We've got Full Up Trainer. We've got an EX card from Fates Glide. And we've got an Umbreon. I love Umbreon. Big fan of Umbreon. Um, it is my favourite Pokemon. Obviously, after Charizard, I'll say that's my laptop dying. On the side, that's fine. I'll charge you up. Heat more. Lana. Hoot Hoot. Ladybug. Mudbray. Horsey. Vinipede. Kawaii. Okay. And uh, Tangrowth. Non holographic from Bird and Shadows. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go with Pikachu tin now. Pikachu and. Oops, okay, another Hydrogon one. And Vulpix there. Did we get both of them? Nope, we just get Pikachu. Okay. And again, it's. Burning Shadows and a Primarina Sun and Moon pack. So tins, you go in the bin over there. I'll keep those tins actually, it'll be nice for display. Nice for the display anyway, which I obviously don't have yet. But I like to take the tins just to have them out. That'd be pretty sweet, I think. Okay, Sun and Moon did us very well there. Let's see if we can get the Rainbow Umbreon now, Rainbow Espeon, maybe Espeon Fuller. That'd be pretty cool. Brion. Persian, Switch, Caterpie, Skarmory, Morlul, Chinchow, Cuter Flight, Butterfree is Reverse Rare, nice, and uh, Beware, 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 it's Beware. Burning Shadows, it really does not like me. I think I've pulled from this set two Glossopod Rainbows. Yes, you heard that right, two Rainbow Glossopods. Like, what are the chances? Absolutely crazy. Um, have pulled the Plumerina, I think it's called. I think she's a full art trainer from this and the Grismar as well. But the QC on these cards are not nice. None of these were. I've only actually pulled one Charizard from this set. So we've got Ace Roller and Electivire, non holographic rare. The QC on these cards are really, really bad. We'll go for Mewtwo next. And uh, there's a Mewtwo one as well again. And uh, yeah, they're just really bad. Like, the, the, you see how off center some of the cards, obviously, that. Um, that Umbreon is from Sun and Moon, but some of these cards were whitening on the edges, just off center. Such a shame. But uh, God, maybe because it's such massively printed, Burning Shadows was. Uh, I'm just struggling to open this pack one second. Oops, okay, you want to go from the front then? Code card, go to the side, fall from the back, try not to sneeze. Water energy, rainbow energy. Okay, crock rock. I, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. More Morlal, Formantis, Picky Peck, Sandile. Oh man, I have something here. Gramble and uh, Primarina GX. Nice pull. Nice pull. Already getting more pulls in the Sun and Moon packs than I did in the tins last time I opened. Obviously not on the channel because it wasn't very good. Let's put these cards in the background here. Ilma and uh, Helteria GX as well. But... Burning Shadows has given us nothing so far. Just the two packs open, so didn't give it much of a chance, but you never know, maybe it'll give us one now. And yeah, I've got some gold cards from from Burning Shadows as well, but nothing crazy. Again, just like gold trainer cards, gold items. We've got Fire Energy, Simi, Sage, okay, Dusclops, Noibat, Horsey, Volpex, I do, I'm a big fan of that Volpex, Sneasel, Venipede, Alone and Raticate is a reverse rare. Nice, and another gold. Okay, multi switch. Have I got this one? I think I might do. But how off center is that? What an opening so far. This has been really great. Uh, very off center, but that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with this. Got Full Art Trainer, 
gold card and an Umbreon. You can't complain with that opening at all. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, let's just put that on that side. Maybe it's a bit packed on this side. Let's go for Mew next. Obviously, as you know, with like shiny fates and hidden fates, I like to end with the Charizard. So Mew and we've got uh, Psyduck there. So Mew, there we are. You can make, make, make a nice picture with that. But we've got Paul from Burning Shadows, Breeze free. Let's get these Sun and Moon and Burning Shadows out of the way. Tin, go in the bin. That rhymed. Okay, Sun and Moon, done us well. Got us two hits and some, I think some reverse, no, some holographics as well. Two holographics and two hits, not bad. Actually, three hits. We've got the full art trainer as well. Awesome. Sun and Moon's done three well. Okay, yeah, uh, Pinter, Lillipup, Bound Sweet, Jupiter, Marini, Stuffle, Stuffle again, okay, seeing double here, so Stuffle and Stuffle, and uh, Lantern, okay, that's okay, we've, we've, we've got a lot from Sun and Moon already, can't complain too much, Burning Shadows, again, done us well, maybe, you never know, get that Rainbow Charizard, let's see, let's have a go, so, full from the back, Steel Energy, Wobbuffet, Ace Roller, is it Ace Roller? Ace Roller. Uh, Pikachu, nice Pikachu, Krogunk, Magikarp, Meowth, Kawaii again, we've got another second reverse of this, and uh, Azumarill. Okay, it's up to Charizard to end it on a high. Last Tin Magic, I'm going to say it now, last Tin Magic instead. But we have another Hydreigon uh, Queen, there's our boy, there's Charizard. There's the details of him. I mean, go and pause that to read it if you want to. We've got another Burning Shadows and we've got another Sun and Moon. Right, great opening so far. Absolutely incredible. I really enjoyed it. I hope you have as well. Let's put Umbreon in the middle finally. Let's put Ilma to the side over here. And actually, I don't even have space for the hollows, but we'll go for the hollows as well. But you never know, we could get another, another nice hit. From these last two packs, last tin magic again. And I've not gone over 30 minutes. Yay! Done over 20. I did it alright. I wasn't even considering opening up a Crobat V box. Like those, a Japanese one. Um, but we've got enough. We've well got well enough. Well enough. Is that even English, Charon? Okay, Zubat. Oops, it was a Poplio. Stuff all again. Okay, we've seen too many of you. Wingo, Dratini. Double colourless energy and a Golduck non-holographic. It's up to this last pack. Last pack magic has been called, or it was last tin magic anyway. Burning Shadows. This is where the Charizard comes. The Rainbow Charizard comes in this pack. The chances are so low. So, so low. But you never know. You never know. This opening has been pretty nice to us so far. So maybe we can end it on a really nice high. Okay. Very energy, rest in peace, very energy, it's no longer in Sword and Shield. Sophocles, Rimbombi, Rimbombi, okay. Stuffle, Noibat, Sorp, Esper, Pansage, Kingdra is a reverse rare, nice. And we have a Machamp GX Full Art, what a way to end it. Lovely card, nice Full Art to end it with. Two Full Arts pulled today, Full Art Trainer, a Gold and a GX and an EX. Okay, this has been a really nice opening. I have got this run already, but it's still pretty nice to get again. So I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Okay, let's just put you in properly. And let's go through the pulls. So I just want to make it in a nice order for everyone. Okay, do I... Yeah, let's go show the... Show these as well. Okay, we've got Vicavolt from Sun and Moon, which is a really nice holographic. We've got a Dragonite holographic I'm a big fan of, big fan of that. We've got Frostmoth Hollow, Altera EX, the only pull we got from Fates Collide, but that's fine. Only three packs we opened. We opened a lot of Sun and Moon, and we've got a Primarina GX, really nice card. We've got a gold, we struck gold. Gold trainer card over here, beautiful, beautiful, from Burning Shadows there. Uh, Sun and Moon gave us another Full Art Trainer, which I'm a big fan of. Ilma, add to the Full Art Trainer collection we've got machamp gx a full art great card and my pull of the day is an umbreon gx full art from sun and moon 
big fan of that. Let me know what you think about this opening in the comment section. What you think, what your favourite tin is as well, and what your favourite card I've showed you as well from Hidden Fates. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great Easter weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow for... Uh, what am I showing tomorrow? I think it's uh, Shiny Star V. Yeah, Shiny Star V box. Enjoy. Bye-bye.